In the last episode, we flew our two rovers over 380,000 kilometers from the Earth to the Moon and landed safely on its surface. So the first task of the Google Lunar X Prize is complete. But to win the competition, the part-time scientists have to complete two more challenges. The second task is to drive 500 meters on the Moon's surface, which is not as simple as it sounds. The Moon is covered with lunar regolith, better known as Moon Dust. This surface will put the rover's Quattro drive system to the ultimate test because the sharp splinters that form the moon dust constantly break down into even smaller parts. These are about 1,000 times finer than dust on Earth, a surface on which maximum traction is essential. Moon dust permeates almost everything, and if it enters the gearbox, the rover won't be able to move, and the whole mission will be in danger. One solution, labyrinth seals that redirect the moon dust and protect the rover's sensitive machinery. Because of the low gravity, only one-sixth of the Earth's, the moon dust that's stirred up by the rover floats around for a long time. It could settle on the solar panel and cover it, which would reduce the amount of energy that can be collected. Another danger to look out for, shadows, which could instantly damage the rover. That's because of the moon's extreme changes in temperatures and lack of atmosphere. The rover is made from different materials, all of which expand and contract when their temperature changes. If the rover were to drive into a shadow, it could cool down to 50% of its normal temperature in under 10 minutes. This could lead to parts contracting too fast and ultimately render the rover immobile. The third task is sending HD images to Earth. This is complicated by the lack of a magnetic field on the Moon. The Sun blasts high-energy particles into space which hit the surface of the Moon and the rover's computer system unfiltered. Most of the time, this will just lead to the computer resetting itself. But in the worst case, a transistor could explode and be destroyed. To avoid this, the rover's chips that are made from silicon are mounted onto a ceramic panel. This ensures that the silicon doesn't rip during rapid temperature changes. It's also possible to install a backup system that can be activated if the first one is destroyed. If the part-time scientists and the Audi Lunar Quattro manage to complete all these tasks, they will be the winners of the Google Lunar X Prize. But the rovers are also carrying scientific payloads and experiments and will pay a visit to the Apollo 17 landing site. All this will give us important information far beyond the mission to the Moon. And there's another question. Will the rovers survive the long dark lunar night with temperatures of minus 180 degrees Celsius and see another day on the moon? Only time will tell, but we're looking forward to finding out.